Hi, I'm Sylvia from Learning New Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to make my teddies. Um, they come in five different sizes um, for the 4x4, 5x7, 6x10, 7x12, and 8x14 hoops. So let's get started. I've got all my bits ready. I've got my 5x7 hoop and the stabilizer. I use um, tear away stabilizer medium weight. I cut out my fabric pieces which you will be able to do according to the instructions that come with the pattern. For ease I've printed out the design but you don't need that but just to show you what each step is. The hooping, it's, the pattern is going to be done in four different hoopings and we're going to start out doing the arms and legs and tail and ears and then this is the back and we have to do the nose separately and finally we do the hooping for the body so I'll get started and go to the machine I've put the stabilizer in my hoop and the hoop in the machine obviously and we're gonna do the arms and the legs and the first thing it's gonna do is a outline of where you have to put your fabric use some gun old spray um, so to stick the um, fabric down a bit I only use a little bit then we're going to cover the outline and then I'm going to put some water soluble on I've put the water soluble on and I'm going to return the hoop to the machine and we're going to do the poles and the ear embroidery. It's now embroidering the pole prints. I've removed the water soluble and now we're going to place the top on, right side facing down and we're going to secure it with tape. And I'll put it back in the machine. out now and all we need to do is cut neatly along the stitch lines and turn them and stuff them and then they'll be ready when we do the body. I've cut neatly around all these um, parts and there's a line in the center and that is so you can cut and that will give you the exact halves of the parts. Okay, now I'm going to turn them inside out. And you just push them gently. And then what you're going to do is stuff them gently. You do this with each of them. Don't stuff them too much, it won't look good. And now we're going to, we're ready to do the nose. We're now going to do the muzzle and it's going to just draw a little outline of the actual size of it to give you an idea where you're going to place the fabric. I place the fabric on top of the little outline he did, making sure it covers it well. 
and I've put some of the Gunold spray on so it'll stick well. The little lines it's doing now are going to be the guidelines you can use when you put this on the um, that on the body. So these are the four placement lines, and now we're going to start with the um, mouth. Okay, we've now finished stitching that and I'm just going to take it out of the hoop and show you what we're going to do with it. I've removed the stabilizer from the back and now what we're going to do is we're going to cut out neatly on that line. Well, it doesn't matter if it's neat. It's just the guide. That's it. And we're going to save that for when we do the body. Next we're going to do the back of the body and this is going to be an outline to show you where to place the fabric. First it's going to do an outline of the entire body. And now it's going to And you see this line here, this is where we're going to line up our fabric, like so, and I'm going to spray it a bit. And then we take it back to the machine. It's now going to place where the center is. This is just this some base the centers. And now it's going to show where the little tail is going to go. Teddy's only have tiny little tails. So I'm just going to place that here and start the machine. So now all we have to do is place the other side other bit of the fabric there and it's probably a good idea if you tape it a bit I've taped it on the corners and I'm just going to put it back in the machine and it's going to do an outline of the body shape of his back shape we'll see in a minute
taken the hoop out of the machine and I'm just going to remove the stabilizer. Which doesn't prove to be that easy. There we go. I've removed most of the stabilizer. And we're just going to trim along here, making sure you put a little nick in there. And then we're going to put it aside because we're going to use that once we've done the body. We're now going to start on the front bit of the body. And it's going to do the outline. We're going to place the fabric. I've stitched the outline and I'm now going to place the fabric on top. I've put some adhesive on it, making sure... It covers all the outline and it does. And we're going to do the next stitch which will secure it. It's done the outline of the body and now it's going to um, base the placement line. Now this is for the muzzle and this is also the center where we're going to align the back of the body up later so that's why these basing lines are there. I've placed some water soluble so the eyes will stitch out nicely. doing the black around the eyes and the eyebrows and it's now going to do the white in the eyes and that's color six. The machine is now going to stitch out the placement of the muzzle. It's stitched it out and what you have to do is make sure you use the same color thread as you use for the fabric of the muzzle. That way when you applique it on it'll look neat and tidy. I've lined the placement lines as you can see up and we're going to tape it down and then we're going to take it to the machine and it's just going to stitch the top bit so we can check that it has actually that it is actually in the right position it is stitched out the first um, little line as you can see right on top of his nose and it looks quite centered so we're going to stitch out the next bit it stitched out the second bit right here and now what we're going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of filling and push it in here. Here you can see I've put a little bit of stuffing in there and I'm going to just do another little line and we can stuff it some more. Just going to put a little bit more of this in there. Don't do it too much because you know you, your machine won't get around it but it's going to give it a nice little bulge as you can see. And we're just going to stitch out the next color. So 
so you just keep going bit by bit and then you can put a little bit more wadding in if you want to you just do a tiny bit you don't want it too thick otherwise your machine won't like it and make sure there is no filling or wadding near the stitch line because your needle won't like that either this looks pretty good okay we'll do some more stitching on it now it's stitched little bits all the way around and now it's gonna just do a line right around it to secure it properly and then we can trim it Now have to trim nicely around this edge. I've trimmed around as neatly as I could and we're now going to do the uh, satin stitch around that. satin stitch all around here now and it looks quite nice and now we're going to do the applique it's just done the placement line for the applique and we're just going to put the applique there the, um, the material down I mean and it's going to secure it It has now secured the fabric and what we're going to do now is trim neatly along the stitch line. I've trim, trimmed neatly around all the stitch line and we're now going to do a decorative stitch. I'm not going to put the water soluble on this because it's really difficult to pick out on this particular stitch and it looks alright without it. all the applique stitching around it and on this um, particular one I'm going to put a name and a little heart down because a friend of mine just had a her daughter had a baby girl so this is not included in your pattern by the way. I've done my extra bit here uh, this shows you what you can do with it and it's going to now stitch the placement line for the ear. Place the ear where it's supposed to go and I find it easier just to hold it but you can tape it. So you can just go anywhere near the needle. The next stitch out is the placement for the arm. the arms only slightly and it's completely empty on the top so we're just going to place it and off we go next the placing for the length fill the leg up to the top and it's only slightly filled to make sure you're putting it right I always just go like that and then you just turn it over and that way you should have the leg not upside down Okay. 
Next, it's the are they right? placement line. Right, we're just gonna stitch the leg down now. Make sure you keep your hands right out of the way. Next is the placement line for the arm. Gonna secure it. And the placement line for the air. And now it's gonna secure the ear. to do is put the back on. I've trimmed around it and here you can see the center line and here that you've stitched and what we've got to do is match the center bit here and the center bit there and I'm going to pin it and I'll show you that in a sec. I've pinned the back bit of the body to the top of the body and now we are ready to stitch the outline Make sure you've centered it according to the um, line on the front of the body. A nice stitching around the body. now and there is one color left which we are not going to do otherwise the machine will go towards the center way around it and now we're going ready to turn it inside out it's all ready to stuff and here he is all stuffed ready to join his brothers and his sisters so here is Charlotte and it's all, she's all done and you can see she's got a nice little tail and her bottom sticks out and her head is not flat and I've stitched her up at the bottom and her little nose protrudes <clears throat> in the smaller sizes it doesn't protrude as much as in, in the bigger sizes if you can see here this is quite a nice little bulge there anyway she's ready to join the family Thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Till the next time. Bye.